Praise be Jesus Christ, the angels are real. I want to give you three examples from recently canonized saints that speak to us about the reality of the angels. First of all, Saint Faustina had many experiences with the angels once she was traveling. And in paragraph 630 of her diary, she writes, Then I saw one of the seven spirits near me. So that would have been an archangel. Radiant as at other times under the form of light. I constantly saw him beside me when I was riding on the train. And this is a reminder, the angels are meant to keep us safe when we travel. And so when we travel, we should ask the angels to travel with us and to keep us safe. I saw an angel standing on every church we passed, but surrounded by a light which was paler than that of the spirit who was accompanying me on the journey. And each of these spirits who were guarding the churches bowed his head to the spirit who was near me. So these angels who guard the churches recognized that there was an archangel with St. Faustina, so they kind of gave uh, the archangel a little uh, bowing of the head. Okay, St. Padre Pio had a lot of experiences with angels, especially his guardian angel. It says here, To those spiritual sons and daughters who were not able to meet with Padre Pio in person, he would say, If you need me, send your guardian angel to me. He was kept busy day and night listening to the messages brought to him by the angels. And then from uh, St. Jacinta and St. Francisco, they were two of the visionaries of Fatima, uh, who died younger, Lucia um, died more recently, Jacinta and Francisco are already canonized. They were visited by the angel of peace. The angel said, don't be afraid. I am the angel of peace. Pray with me. And kneeling on the ground, he prostrated himself until his forehead touched it, saying, My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I beg pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. And then in the third apparition from the angel of peace, the angel appeared with the Holy Eucharist. And it says, They could see the drops of blood falling from the host into the cup. He placed it on the tongue of Lucia to Jacinta and Francisco, who had not received Holy Communion. He presented the chalice and they drank of it. At the end, he once more prostrated himself on the ground and said the same prayer three times. And so the angels are wonderful gifts from God. They, they help us. They uh, teach us to worship God and to uh, keep our eyes on the Lord. And so it's good to uh, ask for the angels to help us, especially by praying daily the guardian angel prayer and the Saint Michael prayer. And so from scripture, from Psalm 137, the psalmist says, I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you. Viva Cristo.